Hi guys, uh, there's, you know, Digas here, and uh, he has a surfboard, and um, stats, and the same passive as we've been, uh, we've been talking about, so, uh, very exciting stuff. But who gives a fuck? Because this is what the video's gonna be talking about. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's your boy Cash, and today's video is legitimately all good news. Activated my trap card and is 100% MFO. Today we're gonna be talking about the 5 million downloads event, and yes, I just, I only briefly, literally briefly only wanted to touch on the fact that Degas is coming into the game. I just wanted to say that there will not be a review for him. Uh, there's really no purpose of doing a review for him because we already reviewed him, and the only thing that I will be reviewing is the Ice Shower and the other, like Ice Shower and Summer Blessing on him but i feel like we've deep dived into that enough that i don't want to i don't know it just seems weird that if i were like oh let's review this version of degas when we already reviewed degas we explained him i feel like pretty well so the best i'll do is i'll put a card so you guys can you know go back to the degas review and the only difference there is that he's going to be able to freeze people on his auto um, and i've already mentioned several times in the ice shower video then there will be a card for that is pretty much of how it benefits he's one of the characters that benefits if you have multiple summer units if you're trying to run multiple of them but it's still weird because he himself has a way to aoe stun scarlet is also one of the only characters that can like really utilize it in a, an impactful way she's literally the best one because she has a easy to access to uh, aoe move so she can stun multiple characters as long as she has someone constantly providing a buff so you don't really need degas with it i think that what they should have did i know maybe there's not that many hot you know um aoe characters maybe in the game but they should have gave it to more aoe characters bernadette's going to be cool but bernadette you know she's we're used to using her for nuking and same thing with scarlet i guess too but single target characters that have mostly single target moves is not really going to be too appealing so as far as anyone's going to ask uh should you skip it i think so i think even though we i, I summon scarlet just react to being a jerk i think she's one of the best uh characters in there i think digas is really good as well like as a character he's really good as a character but as far as him being in the thing i think it's gonna be eh, now, now, that, now that we see more I, I, I definitely hyped him and iris up but as far as the ice shower portion of it, it's kind of weird but they're good in a team comp that i don't know if it's going to be viable unless we see more of the gold in there like what is iris and what does valentina do then we'll be able to say well yeah this is a really good core like if there's something that allows them to maybe abuse the summer's blessing or maybe there's a defense version like that on top of the attack they also get defense or they also get block or something like that so i think that digas is really good with it but he can't utilize it as much as you know scarlet can he can he can definitely but this event here what i wanted to touch on is pretty much they're celebrating reaching 5 million downloads and this is exactly why by the way uh free to play and casual spenders are important there's not 5 million wills in this game <laughs> i mean there's also probably not 5 million players currently but you do have to remember that this is the type of stuff that helps them market the game and it's even why i always say that they do have to acknowledge and somewhat cater to the more the, the majority of their player base which is not going to be whales and the whales are going to they're going to circumvent the system and as much as they want to like i'm not going to sit there and pretend like whales are dumb i i think that sometimes i've, I've made that sentiment or people might assume that that whales are dumb they'll buy anything no they, they if you give them a good economy a, a decent route they'll buy it but like i don't think that you should start that off by catering stuff to whales i think you should cater to the casuals and then let the whales abuse the system you know in, in whatever way they see fit but when it comes down to when you see this this is just you know overall awesome it's overall a good thing there's nothing wrong with it obviously it helps us out as you can also see here during the event period you can make a recruit and it's like a recruit better than a premium recruit for 11 times free recruit once a day event recruitment reflects mileage superior fate uh mileage is what they're kind of saying from the way that i read this it says free 11 premium recruit and it's lasting for pretty much three days it says once a day 
So what they're going to be doing, if I'm not mistaken, is one of two things. You're going to pretty much go here and it's going to track the mileage here. But I think very likely what they're going to do is that they're just going to like take this stuff out maybe. Maybe they'll still they'll take this out and then hopefully it's like this, like your first button is free. So you don't get confused. Uh, what game does it? Seven Deadly Sins does it and it, it's kind of annoying that they have their free summon or whatever. And they also have the option to pay and like if you click too fast you still might mess up and do one of the options that you don't want so i do hope that maybe they replace this uh, and they're they're not really too good when it comes to quality of life with as far as menuing and stuff like that so i hope that they do it in a really good way i hope that you still get the mew as well that'd be pretty nice and if it goes to your fate miles that's awesome that's just you know overall good and i think that People should acknowledge and understand that there's nothing wrong with companies doing overall good things to the player base because most of them don't spend money and most of them need incentive to spend money. They need to see the company do good things. Just creating a free to play game doesn't, in my opinion, automatically mean that you should garnish money. You should earn it. And I've said this many a times, if the game is good I, and I'll, I'll treat it as if it's a triple A game, I'll spend at most, uh, yeah, at least uh, technically um, 60 something dollars because that's what I would play for a triple A game. I, if I wanted to play the Cyberpunk, the new Cyberpunk game, the new Ghost of Tsushima game, by the way, should I play those games? You guys let me know. But um, if I should play those games, I'm, I'm chucking out $65 because they are saying that our game is quality. And if you want quality, this is how much it's going to cost. Same thing when they drop a new console. That, that's, that's the whole, to me, that's why. It's the only shtick what I think when it comes down to mobile games is like you already bought the phone, right? The phone is the console. Wait, you can see my quotation marks. Uh, the phone is the console, right? So you bought the console and now they're giving you a free game. But the problem is that other free games still don't have these weird monetization things in them. So usually you get a free game uh, even, even when you're on... Let's say PlayStation Store. I don't know if Xbox does it, so I'm only speaking about PlayStation Store. They'll give you a game, a game that used to be $65 or a game that's on sale or something like that. And you can, I remember I, I have games that when they first drop, obviously go $65, but through PlayStation Plus, I got them for free after many years, obviously. So I'm, I, I'm like, yeah, in a gotcha game after a year, or so they should just be giving out free shit. No, but I, I am going to say that there's nothing wrong, like I said, with doing just overall positive good. It's just a positive good. Giving away free summons, uh, especially if it's if it has the same rates as this. Imagine, imagine the community, which, you know, there's going to be those people that get uh, one of these golds, right? Will get one of these golds. They're going to be jumping for joy. They're going to be like, this is the best game I've ever seen. <laughs> I can't believe how good this game is. It's completely free to play. I got something that other people didn't. It's game is free to play. All right, but um, it, it's it's interesting, right? But you know, just giving people the chance at this stuff is just it's good. Even if they were to give you a black selector, or maybe not a black fake core selector, or maybe just a black randomize thing, right? And yes, you get the core. I don't know why, but you get a. A fake core sometimes you don't get the hero you only get the hero when it's through here they need to fix the system because it's absolutely stupid but you know let's say if they give you a black core thing every once in a while maybe every month maybe it's in the attendance thing you know something that just overall good because if they gave me a selector it's going right here just so you guys know even though technically right now i would love to try a hamster i think it would be better to get her because she's not on a string right now and i can get a hamster on a string let me know right now if they th th that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna end the video i want to know if you guys were able to actually get a black fake core selector which one would you get i know a lot of people might uh, i've seen it and i've said before like, there's a lot of people that are coming into game actually the five million event is even proof of it because they didn't get five million the game's been out for like what a month or so and now they're saying that they got five million downloads it just proves that there are a lot of new people coming into the game and that's why it's very important one help those people but acknowledge that they are marketing heavy and a lot of people that come into the game may not know all the the gotcha tips and tricks you know like so it's important to let people know that that's a bad deal like that's bad or that's that's a bad thing that so that's why i do do that you know so when people i hope that maybe i can stop someone from 
financially screwing themselves, even if it's uh, screwing themselves with twenty thirty dollars. I feel I still think that's important. But uh, wh which black fake core would you guys choose? I'm curious. What I was saying before is that I think a lot of people would pick Anastasia because they don't have her. They literally don't have her. Some people are coming into the game now. They have zero first guardians, and their only chance to start getting first guardians is in thirty days. So it's it's. You know what what for those people you know like those people started the game thought it was awesome came in started to do pvp and was like what the fuck is this shit and it's like well it the meta of that is not gone but it's now they're seeing it and then they're asking everyone else and everyone's like oh you just gotta oh you just get a nuke or stupid <laughs> go get your rudley stupid and it's like bro i don't i don't have rudley i don't <laughs> i was told to get bathory and you know now I can't beat this meta because all I have is one one character. I don't have the trifecta, so it, that's why it's important to mix up the meta a little bit more frequently. Honestly, they should be doing more stuff. And I mean, not stuff like this, but <laughs> doing doing more positive things uh, that people care about. Anywho, that's all I have to say about this. I think that it's awesome. Uh, just make sure that it's. I think it starts tomorrow, or it's gonna start when today resets. I think I forget how they really do it. But just keep in mind that it's once per day, and I'm pretty sure they're not going to alert you to it. <laughs> Anywho, that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, of course. Uh, this won't be the only video that's coming out today, of course. I, I was hoping for more news, actually, but I, that's really it. Kind of sad. So, of course, you guys know. Just remember that every day at the casino is your lucky day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.